England are in Stockholm helping Sweden celebrate the opening of their new home. The National Stadium is the Friends Arena now. It's raining, but this place has got a roof. It's closed. All's well with the world. Roy Hodgson's experimental England team of the visitors, three debutants. We have Everton's Leon Osman, Liverpool's baby Raheem Sterling. England glad to see the back of the old one. They haven't beaten Sweden in Stockholm since 1937. Andy Townsend alongside me. You never know quite what to expect from a friendly. What's the vibe you get about the pitch of tonight's game? Oh, certainly, Clive. I think this is a proper test, a proper game. Some of those friendlies are quite right. Over the years, we've seen, not only for England, I've played in many friendlies. Here is Sweden's captain, an iconic frontman, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, tossed forward towards Matthias Renegi. A bit of a misunderstanding between Gary Cahill and Joe Hart, but... Cahill didn't stand on ceremony and took charge of the situation. Yep, he made the right decision. I think Joe Hart was a little slow actually coming out there. Fixture we've seen between the two for years. Cleverly linking with Welbeck. And the uh, handball given against Danny Welbeck. It did rather rear up at him. It did. It just sat up a little bit, didn't it, off the surface, yeah. Osman sitting tight. Johnson. Osman, well back. This is Leon Osman. It's a smart save by Andreas Isaacson and Gerard. In towards Cahill. Oh, he'd only needed a touch, and he didn't quite get a touch. Anything on that, Clive, and it's in the net. You saw the reaction from Isaacson. He... Lustig winning it back, but then losing out to Young. Tackles by Shellstrom. Lustig to Ibrahimovic. Even he is. Struggling to pass the ball accurately, catching Niklic. Now Shellstrom, he can strike him with that left foot. And then flies by a post, which I think Joe Hart had covered. Yeah. He had runners going beyond him there, Kim Shellstrom, but nothing further in his mind to... Johnson to Sterling. Martin Olsen's getting to him very quickly. Here's Mateus Ronegi, and he's got Martin Olsen overlapping to his left. Ibrahimovic waits in the centre. Olsen, Ibrahimovic, another chance, 1 0. Something fitting about the fact that the first goal in the new national stadium is scored by Sweden's talismanic striker, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. England gave him a second chance. You know, Glenn Johnson had possession, he knocked the ball into Raheem Sterling and then seemed to run beyond him a little bit. Steven Gerrard also a little bit further forward. Once they get the chance to counter, then they're running straight to the central defenders. It's a good run from Martin Olsen outside Renegi. Now he's just got to find the right pass. Good run from Ibrahimovic. Shellstrom. That by Sterling of support here and he's managed to sweep past Shellstrom has gone down injured this is Raheem Sterling now Danny Welbeck pull back to Glenn Johnson oh and the touch by Cleverly on the edge of the six yard box there was no flag against him it was a chance he did well Tom Cleverly he just gambled he just put himself in a position where he thinks I might get on the end of it you'll see him make the move there and having got there he's got to put that in it's caught Isaacson by the way he's still down the keeper Kick. Larson in towards Renegi. And he got to the front of the queue for a good cross from Seb Larson, but just couldn't quite direct it in. And Gary Cahill just does enough, just about. Shellstrom into Larson. Baines going every inch of the way with him, but not dispossessing him. Renegi, Kachaniklic. Martin Olsen is forward. Ibrahimovic. Splits a goal for Fulham's Alex Kaczyniklic. Kaczyniklic. Oh, and they got in a real tackle. Hunts them particularly well. Ibrahimovic, though, Renegi! Might just have sat up, but it was a clear chance. For Mateus Renegi of England's a problem of England's making. That's sloppy. That really is sloppy there. 
I think when Gary Cahill's underneath that, I think he's got to deal with it. Just ducking out the way of that, whether Joe Hart's calling for it or not. In the first minute, he did exactly the same and just thought, look, I'm going to argue about it after. I'll deal with it. That one, he tries to duck out the way. Young with a corner. Good away by Renegi as far as Gerrard. Oh, there's a chance Cahill, but it's offside. Kite was up quickly. Yeah. Stephen Gerrard does well, actually, I think. As that ball's coming to him, he might be thinking, if I can have a touch and get a shot, in the end it sits up, he can just only but just help it back into the pot there. Ashley Young, crossed in towards Welbeck! That's a terrific equaliser for England. Snapped up by Danny Welbeck from a searching cross from Ashley Young after a tremendous pass from Raheem Sterling. Praise for all three. England on terms with 10 minutes of the half remaining. That's better all round, isn't it? As you say, excellent ball out from Sterling. Once again, better play from Ashley Young. It's a brilliant cross. It's such a great ball in. Danny Welbeck, as soon as he re recognises Ashley Young's picking it up, he knows he just wants to try and find a yard. Now, give me something to attack. And it's absolutely perfect. Delivered. Gerard with the free kick. Stephen Corker has got a debut goal for England, who lead now in Stockholm. Amazing turnaround. 20 years of age, Stephen Corker of Tottenham Hotspur scored against the English champions at the weekend and now marks his international debut with a goal. Another good delivery, isn't it? It's another really interesting, inviting ball from Stephen Gerrard. Difficult one for the goalkeeper. Should he be coming to get out? I don't think he can. And again, Corker just takes a chance. He just thinks if I can find a little bit of space and just throw myself at it. Larson. Ibrahim just chested that down under pressure from Cahill. Catch a Niklic. Ibrahimovic! And you don't want to give him another chance like that. It was actually very good defending by Corker who did enough. It's a corner. The original control, you're right, was fabulous from Ibrahimovic. And Catch a Niklic picks it up. And just knocks it back. Sebastian Larsson with the corner. Now Mateus Renegi, but the ball eluded him. Well, England took some time to find their feet on the surface, which even the most talented feet have found a challenge. They fell behind to the very talented feed of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Arsene Wenger questioned the value of November games this uh, week when you know there are no qualifiers until March. Then make some more changes. He's the only substitute. Safari, the new left back, in towards Renegi. So, Danny Welbeck. Stephen Gerrard, space for Leighton Baines now to pick a cross. In towards Welbeck! As Leon Osman stretching at the far post, I think Welbeck had the chance. Good play. Good football from England, they kept it well, didn't they? I thought Danny Welbeck might have crossed earlier for Sterling, but he came back out, some patient football. Eventually coming to Leighton Baines, good delivery, dangerous ball towards the near post. Gerard has found Osman. That's a smart save by Isaacson and his near post. Got in some good areas there, hasn't he, Leon Osman, a few times now. Sterling. Here's Gerard. It's well struck. Isaacson fins it away. Another go, Stephen. Sterling. Baines is arriving. Instead, it's cleverly. Shellstrom. Well, and away from Cahill. Joe Hart feels he was fouled. Well, we'll see. And certainly Renegi, we know, is a big lad. The ball's hanging over the goalkeeper. It's not the best of headers there, certainly from Cahill. And I don't think Renegi does anything wrong. I think he's fully entitled to go for that. He does, and Joe Hart doesn't really get enough on it. Lustig. Spencer into Ibrahimovic. Tell Corker the defender did just about enough, it's a goal kick. I'm surprised at the finish, because the, the way that Ibrahimovic received the ball and resisted 
the challenge from Corker was really good. Just a touch, and then he drags it past him. Having done all of that, that's poor from him. Ibrahimovic has got on the dangerous side of Corker. It's a rather extravagant finish. Yeah. Didn't need me to tell him he could have taken the touch. Could have took two or three, Clive. Musha to Johnson. And now to Sterling. And now Glenn Johnson, who is onside here. Come back towards Osman, was sticked it just about enough. Steven Gerrard! Mm, far away. That is a tempting one to hit first time. Again, you could argue whether Steven Gerrard takes a touch. I think any midfield player coming onto something like this is always going to be tempted to hit that one first time on the full, on the volley. Well, back towards... He's got the ball, but he came all the way through Wilshire to get it. Yellow card by a referee who's really... Svensson. Oh, here's Ibrahimovic! Drill through Joe Hart with unstoppable power by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He scored for the second time tonight, and Sweden on terms. Absolutely out of nothing. Whether or not England, because they've made changes, have just drifted and just slept a little bit, I'm not so sure. Let's credit the finish, the movement from Ibrahimovic. He just pushes Cahill away, then he just a short cross away and just spins off of him. And it's a stunning volley. That is a brilliant spot from Svensson. Ross has kept it in. This fella can pass, obviously. Welbeck's on side. Osman, neat feet. Oh, yard either side of these, would have been interesting. Half a dozen times Leon Osman's going to some really clever little positions, as you would expect from him. This evening. Pickwick has gone Sweden's way. Playing here tonight doesn't change their positions in any way. They would have to play competitive minutes for England. Well hit, Eriksson! The headline act on opening night is inevitably Zlatan Ibrahimovic. They were too much force. Barely a smile breaks his famous features. But pick this one out. There's no way that one should be beaten, Joe Hartline. That's his side. That can't go in that corner. by Salmon, Ibrahimovic, body checked by Wilshire, he'll get a yellow card. That's going to have to deal with that. Hasn't quite done so. Ibrahimovic, surely not. Talk about tonight, folks. You have just seen a stunning goal from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's got four tonight, and England have beaten. That's an incredible finish. I said at the start, I've seen flashes and bits from this guy against all of the English teams in the Champions League over the year. But I think in witnessing that, you've just seen something very, very special. That is an incredible goal. Because as soon as Joe Hart does that, I'll tell you what, now he's already thinking, I'm going for this. Bang. Fabulous athleticism and the quality, the contact on the ball is amazing. Slip through Jack Wilshire. Leighton Baines. Well defended by the substitute. Sweden's night. Zlatan Ibrahimovic's night. Stadium, a stage worthy of top class international football, maybe not a pitch. And they have a captain who belongs among the leading lights of international football. Four goals, England were 
leading with 15 minutes to play here this evening. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed, come over to the right side. I was negative, you gotta look at the bright side. The heat on the block, no white, white side. I was on the hill, now I'm chilling on the white side. You ain't gotta work, baby, I can change your lifestyle. Her, she had a leak, so I had to put the pipe down. And she always screaming, hit a pillar, tell her bite down. Every time we link, we be fucking on.